Whether your passions run to awe-inspiring installations or one-of-a-kind paintings, exquisitely crafted woodwork or art decor sculptures, you are sure to find it at this four-day festival in the capital city. India Art Fair was packed to the gills with artworks by up-and-coming artists, many of whom are just starting to get a hold on success, some of whom primed to become sensations anytime now. Commissioned works including Jeevanandar Reddy, Tanya Goyal and Sudha Das from India, Imran Qureshi and Zoya Siddiqui from Pakistan and Timothy Lee from South Korea provide an immersive experience. The fair had a special focus on Indian South Asian arts community creating a thriving ecosystem for the arts. Here are a few artists that one should get to know fast. There is no way to miss this impressive installation by late artist Hema Upadhyay's early 12 by 8 feet. It invites viewers to literally enter into an 8 by 12 feet marked interior space which is the size of an average house in Dharavi, the world's largest slums in the Indian city of Mumbai. She sometimes purely observes the massive sprawl and at times inserts herself into the scape. Exhibits like this one are changing the very perspective of how the average Indian views modern art. Pakistani artist Imran Qureshi's work resonates the current events and the troubled state of his native land. The red paint simulates blood, while the finely painted petals, the gold grounds, and the feeling of a garden at night are germs of hope. His miniature paintings are the visual equivalent of the persistency of the life force against all odds. G. Ravindra Reddy's candid representation and bold style depicts the human form in all its vulnerable complexities. The artist sculptor takes on to examine issues of morality and the gaze in a time of state censoring. It questions notions of beauty and propriety by urging the viewer to go beyond the gleaming surface seduction of his works. Zoya's innovative story of loop stems from an interest in exploring the intersectionality between video and space while investigating the boundary of physical experience in time and body. She creates a surreal experiment where she seeks to dismantle a preconceived notion of intersectionality between video and space. She investigates the dissonance between represented space and experienced space. Zoya approaches this complex issue with the use of photography and video in her practice to capture instances of encounter and the inadequacies of representation of memory and identity. Through the illusion of a contained world where in a recorded performance loops non-stop the work seeks to demarcate the space and time inhabited by the viewer from the performing body thereby emphasizing the dissonance between represented and experienced space while marking the distance between inside and outside <laughs>